Okay, we're on Baba Kama, Perek Chet, Mishnah Vav. Mishnah Vav, sixth Mishnah, the eighth chapter of Mesecha Baba Kama. Okay, we're going to talk about different uh, knasim, different, different um, uh, fines, okay, that you have that are based on boshet, on embarrassing people. It's based on tsar and boshet, meaning we're assuming you didn't actually injure him, but you caused a little pain. Most of the pain is embarrassment. So Mishnah says, Hatokea lechaviro. Tokea does not mean you blew a shofar at him. Let's look at the Bartuner for a second. Shemechaber etz be'otav bepas yado, right? You connect your fingers to the base of your hand. Umakeo to be'egrof. Let's call it a punch. You punch him. Tokea lechaber. So you punch your friend. Notein lo sella. You have to pay him a sella. Abiyuda omer mishum abiyosi aglili. Mane. Abiyuda says the name of abiyosi aglili. It's not a sella. You have to give him a mane. A half. It's chatsi dinar. A sella medina. The Gemara says... That's gati, and that's half a dinar. Okay, these are monetary values. You'll look up to see how much it is. Nowadays, these are not uh, meaningful to us, but uh, the Gemara is telling specific amounts that are brought down in halacha for embarrassing a person. Staro. Staro means you slap him on the face, on his cheek. Notein lo matayim zuz. You staro, you, know, you have to give 200 zuz, which is, I mean, you're talking about a lot of money. Okay? Lachar um, do. If you slap him with the back of your hand, you have to pay him 400 zoos. That's a lot of money. These are just a tremendous amount of money. Okay? Tsaram be'ozno. If you pull his ear. Talash. These are good ways of embarrassing people. Talash be'saro. You pull his hair. Rakak. You spit. He gia bo'ruko. You spit on him. Okay? You spit. I like how it says it. And it touched him. He gia bo'ruko. Hevir talito mimenu. You pull his clothes off. Okay, I mean, he pulled his upper, his upper cloth, cloth, not his underwear. Parash rosha isha bashuk. Or you uncover the hair of a woman in the shuk, in the public thoroughfare. Notain arba ma'od zuz. Again, you have to pay 400 zuz. Zaklal hakol lefi kvodo. This is the rule. Hakol lefi kvodo. All of these mishnayot. Okay, look at the bartunur for a second. Hakol lefi kvodo. Kol elu hadamim shehuz kiru be mishnah. All of these monetary values that I mentioned in the mishnah. It's, these are for the more honored people. So that's the maximum. That's the high water mark. 400 zoos, if you, you know, 400 zoos if you uncover a woman's hair. So the, I don't know, the Rosh Hashiva's wife, you know, and you, you cover, uncover, pull off her hair, you're just embarrassed the Rosh Hashiva because you, you disagree with his hashkafa or whatever. So then you pay 400. Somebody else you pay less. Amar Rabbi, that's the Tanakhama. Amar Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Akiva said, "Afilu anim shebi Yisrael, even in the poor in Israel, ro'ina toki ilu em bnei chorin sheyardu minichsehen." You see them as if they're bnei chorin, free people. Sheyardu minichsehen. It's interesting. Free people. Why are they, they, they should, why should they be poor or not poor? Nonetheless, sheyardu minichsehen, who have lost their property, lost their money. Shem bnei Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. They are the children of Avraham. Yitzhak and Yaakov. So Rabbi Akiva says, no, it's not hakol lefik vodo. All Jews are the same. Don't tell me that there's wealthy people and more important people and less important people. Rather, even aniyim shi Yisrael, even the lowest, we'll call them the lower class, they are the children of Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Okay, so I had this long discussion with my son over Shabbat about this issue, and I raised the question, does Rabbi Akiva think that everyone is the same? And he's paskining because he really feels that everyone's on the same level. Or does Rabbi Kiva want everyone to be the same, and therefore he's paskating that everyone gets the same amount of bullshit no matter what? I think Rabbi Kiva, why, I don't think, I mean, the reality is there are different levels of people, and some people are more embarrassed and less embarrassed. Nonetheless, Rabbi Kiva is still paskating and saying, I don't care if you're more embarrassed or less embarrassed, nonetheless, I believe we're all, all of Jews are B'nai Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and therefore it should be the same. Is it interesting? My son is like, that's the role of halacha, to legislate in order to bring about a change in society. Yeah, interesting, very, very interesting discussion. Okay, this story appears just in a, a little bit of a different form in Avot the Rabbi Natan. Look it up. Perek Bet. Umaseh be'echad she'parah rosha isha b'shuk. Then we're going to back up. The Rabbi Kiva really old that you should pay the 400 zoos. There's a story of a person who uncovered the hair of a woman in the shuk. Ba'at li'nei Rabbi Akiva, so she came to Rabbi Akiva, v'chivo liten arba me'od zoos. And Rabbi Kiva said, you know, oh, you have to pay out of 400 zoos. That was his, his judgment. Amar le Rabbi ten lizman. So he said, okay, I, that's the judgment, I'll pay, but give me a few, give me time. But not tell those months, fine, or two weeks, a month, whatever. Shemara omed al petach chatzera. So he saw her standing at the entrance of her chatzer, her courtyard. 
ושבר את הכד בפניה. He broke a jug of oil. הוא בוא כי איסר או שמן. There's like an איסר, a very tiny amount worth of oil in this cut. He broke this jug, poured out the wine, poured out the, the oil. גילתה את ראשה. In those days, they, you know, make the way they would, one of the things they would do for beauty is to pour oil on themselves. So, גילתה את ראשה. She took off her hair covering. She uncovered her hair. והייתה מטפחת ומנחת ידה. Over side, she dipped her hand in the oil and put it on her head. You know, she would, you know, make it up her hair. העמידה לעדים, he brought witnesses to, to, to testify this, about this. הוא בא לפני רבי עקיבא, came to רבי עקיבא, אמר לו רבי, לזו, אני נותן ארבע מאות זוז, this woman, I'm going to give 400 זוז, she embarrassed herself, why should I, like she didn't care about her hair, having her hair uncovered, why should I have to pay her? אמר לו רבי עקיבא, said לא אמרת כלום, right, you know, you haven't said anything. החובר בעצמו, אף על פי שאינו רשאי פטור. If a person injures himself, causes an injury to himself, he's not permitted to do that. It's a, your body does not belong to you, it belongs to God. But nonetheless, even though you're not allowed to do it, you don't pay yourself, you're patur. But if others injure you, they have to pay. Therefore, the, similarly, this woman, yes, if you, she embarrassed herself, she's not supposed to do that, but she had the right to. But if other people embarrass her, you've got to pay, 400 zoos. Similarly, if you have fruit trees, you cut them down. You're not allowed to do that, but you're exempt. But if other people cut down your trees, then you have to pay. So Rabbi Akiva said, even though she embarrasses herself and she doesn't care, we care. You embarrass her. You have to pay 400 zoos. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my... Oh, I lost it. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harab. Simcha ben Yitzchak. Come on, where we are. Have a great day.